Pampered Chef here. We are making an eggnog latte. You know, I have to tell you, I love, um, especially in the afternoons when it's cold out, having a nice hot drink. Carter and I are the only ones that drink coffee and tea in our house. Doug doesn't like it. So we like having these drinks, but I really don't like spending five bucks for something that's gone so quickly. So I'm gonna show you something you can do from home very easily. So this is our cold brew pitcher. This right here, um, I didn't know this. Cold brew is not iced coffee. I went to New York when I was a teenager and I went to a Greek restaurant and I ordered uh, iced coffee because you know, like you're sitting there and it's like, ooh, all fancy. And iced coffee is exactly that. It's coffee over ice. So what is cold brew? Cold brew is where I actually made this yesterday. You take a cup of your coffee grinds and you put them, uh, you pour five cups of water over it. It's about how you brew it not how you drink it. So I actually have coffee already in our mugs ready to drink, okay? So this right here is the cold brew pitcher. So you, it has this collar on here, so if you have hot drinks like hot tea or stuff like that, it'll protect your hands. But you can take this off and you'll see um, this is coffee. Now people who can't drink coffee because of their stomach or something, cold brew um, is very, it's much less acidic. So a lot of people can drink it. So this is something that's really good. It's very smooth. Uh, so if you go to Starbucks or any coffee place and they say they're out of cold brew, they literally are out of cold brew. They cannot just brew some up. So Carter and I have our own mugs. Um, Mine is all sentimental, his is BB-8. So what we're gonna do, we've already heated this up, okay? Now I have, now since I'm doubling this recipe, I have a cup of half and half and a cup of eggnog, okay? So what I'm doing is I just have a, a jar, a mason jar, whatever brand, and then um, a lid, and I'm just shaking it up to get it frothy, okay? So if you have something fancier, feel free to definitely do something fancier. And I'm just gonna put this in the microwave for a minute, okay? And so what you'll, so you'll see here, the coffee grounds, um, a lot of coffee grounds. Now there's other part of this. Uh, I bought some tea from our Asian store today. It's the tea that they serve at Chinese restaurants. We love that. It's so good. And so I bought some of that. So the other one will put loose tea leaves in and be able to have hot tea as well. So. Uh, you know, if you're a barista and you're watching this, you know that this is probably a cheater's version that you're going to do it way better. But this is something that's just a lot of fun when you're at home and you want um, a pick-me-up for the three o'clock hour. And what we've been doing is schoolwork all day and we need a pick-me-up every hour. So that's what we're doing. So um, cold brew, remember, is not about how you drink it it's about how you brew it so cold brew is literally in a less acidic um coffee so we're going to right here okay is our eggnog um and a latte is more milk than it is coffee so i really don't know all the fancy stuff i'm not that cool but so, and then you just take our Cinnamon Plus, which is only available until December 31st, so you need to get some. You sprinkle it on top, and then you let your kid come get yours. Huh? Um, you come drink it. Ooh, that's so good. It needs a touch more heat, so we'll probably nuke it for a couple of, another minute, but it's really yummy, guys. So I hope, I don't know if you can see it, but it's super good. And now we get to go finish schoolwork.